Good evening, good evening. How are we doing? Happy Thursday. How's it all going? How's everyone doing? Yeah. Everyone's having a good one. Thank you everybody who's been uh, marathoning the crap out of the show as I've been doing since I got out of bed this morning. <laughs> I have finished it now. I made it to the end. I actually finished it about, uh, well, an hour ago, according to my phone. Very, very good. Enjoyed it. Enjoyed it a lot. Yeah, you're all doing well. A minute while I get my eyes working again. Uh, it's been a, a very intense day. <laughs> yep, definitely want to keep the vibe going and we're going to play Fallout 4 tonight. We'll just potter around at the beginning of the game, as one does. Uh, and that should be cool. Because, yeah. The... Uh, Vibes for that. See how we get on. It should be cool. We're all doing well. You know, yeah, definitely. 25th for the next gen update. Not surprised they announced it today. Would have been cool if they'd actually managed to drop it today, but you know. Uh yeah. If they need more time on it, they need more time on it. It's uh, the right call. As always. Um but yes, I'll be going into all the details on that one in a video tomorrow. That's my uh Plan for the daytime tomorrow, so uh, I would have liked to have had a build up on Saturday, but that's not going to happen. That's probably going to be Monday, I suspect. But uh, uh, that's fine. We had a build up earlier in the week, so that's cool. Evening, Belfast. Hope you're doing well. Evening, Dale. How's it going? Hmm. Yeah, well, they're adding some things in the uh, the update that's coming soon. Evening, Dale. How's it going? Welcome on in. I think that's me caught up over there, so I think I can uh, move things out of my way, can't I? Mm -mm. Should be good. Looking forward to it. How's it going, Kraken? You right? Yeah, definitely interested in the the up uh, the next gen update. What I am curious about is, as I'm sure we're all well aware, updates are renowned for breaking mods, and that update comes out two days after Fallout London. So, the million dollar question is, um. Oh, hang on, let me to write a note for myself while I think about it. The million dollar question is, um, have they uh, taken advantage of the fact a number of former mod devs from... Um, oh yeah, I was going to go with that, wasn't I? That's fine. Yeah, have they taken advantage of the fact that a number of former mod devs from the show... What did I do with my pen? Um, there it is are now working at Bethesda and uh, use that connection to arrange for a smoother transition from the one version of the game to the next for that mod. Um, it's a possibility. There are also countless reasons why it might not have happened. So I have my concerns. I suspect what it will probably do regarding the next gen update is pause the um, updates for Fallout 4, play the... Um, play Fallout London, and then um, update it after I finish that, so it doesn't bust it, you know? That would seem like the, the play. Right, so there's my big note reminding me to pause the updates. So if I can detach it from my little note pad here. Right. That's cool. Let's go over there. Let's go there too. And we'll get that sorted. <clears throat> Let's see how we do. Uh, is it the same as making an SC version or not? I don't think so. I think it's just um, a free update from the look of what's on the uh, on the uh, release on the website. So. Uh, It doesn't look like it will function as a new game, but I'll have a look at the press release tomorrow, um, and I will, yeah, that um, uh, see what we keep an eye on the Fallout London updates and stuff. They'll probably have something to say on the subject. It's through two days after their launch. I'm pretty fucking sure they'll have something to say. <laughs> um, so we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, I imagine a lot of mods will get broken, but. Um, 
depending on who's an active developer of mods and who isn't, they'll probably fix them shortly afterwards. That's the way it usually goes. But there may also be other factors, so we'll have to see. Um, yeah. Fallout London messed with downloaded mods from Fallout 4? Probably, yeah. It's a huge overhaul, massive dlc size mod. I would very much suggest, if you're going to play Fallout London, uninstall all of your other mods first, um, and then spend some time checking the Fallout London mod pages and stuff when they come out, just to find out exactly what advice the mod devs have. But I would, as a starting point, just assume it won't play nice with anything else, because it's huge. Um, seems like the sensible way to go. That's what I'm going to do anyway. And then we'll see where we go from there. Uh, hopefully we won't be forced to have the update. Um, you can disable Steam Auto as well. So, um, like, I've got certain games that automatically update and update first. Their top priority, Fallout 76 being one of them. Um, but I have other games that um, I have manual updates set up for, so it doesn't interrupt anything else I'm doing. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty sure I'll be doing that as well. It should be fine. Using the Lewis gun. Ooh, sounds interesting. Anyway, shall we continue our chatter whilst I play Fallout 4? I'm going to have to do a little bit of faffing, because I forgot to do a thing, which is namely um, put a hook into OBS for the game. So currently OBS won't be able to show the game. So that'll take me a couple of seconds, but I can do that. That's not a major issue. Just have to deal with me doing a bit of faffage. There we go. Will Fallout London be on the mod page in game or on a separate website? Dolls and Donuts will be on a separate website. There's no way it's going to be um, a PlayStation mod. I suspect you will probably have to be on PC either way, I'm, but I don't actually know where they're releasing it. I can't see it coming out through Bethesda, though. I could be wrong, but... Yeah, like PlayStation, for example, it won't be on there. They were emphatic from day one that the only way mods go on there is if they are existing assets, and uh, there is no way this qualifies as that. So I can't see it being on PlayStation. Um, Xbox, maybe, but I still doubt it. And I can't imagine it's very easy to get hold of developer kits for Xbox. So um, I'm guessing it'll be a PC only thing, and it'll probably buy via the Nexus. That'd be my guess. Again, but it's purely guesswork. Um, I'm sure they have web pages and YouTube channels and stuff like that, the Fallout London people, so you can dive into it from that point of view. Right, so um, I'm now going to put that screen on, and you're going to see nothing, because I was a dum-dum and I forgot to um, get set up properly. <laughs> so I'm going to do that now. Um, I need that one... Four. Wonderful. Capture specific no that window needs to be that one. Boom, 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 boom. No, don't flick around with stuff. I don't know what that is, but I'm not gonna do it. Okay. That needs to come um down here. So this should it says start working any minute now. It's going to protest a minute for a moment, apparently, but uh, there we go. It'll get crap together in a moment. Looks vaguely promising. Um, yeah, that looks to be about right, I think. Well, we'll see whether or not it goes horribly wrong soon enough, won't we? Cool. So. Nice. So, for our next challenge, we're going to find out whether or not I can actually make my controller work for this. I might need to make some adjustments here. Hang on. And my shirt's ridden up by the back. That's very, very annoying. There we go. That's better. Nice. So, I did character creation on my own time because you know how that goes, right? <laughs> um, so, all things being equal, I should be able to jump straight in right after character creation. 
And it's maybe a little bit loud, but that's that's about where I'd expect the title screen to be, if I'm completely honest. Nice. Evening, Connie. How's it going? Hmm. Uh, mod hub on Xbox Series X for London mod logo. Is it? That's surprising, but that's cool. I've got to admit, that is a genuine surprise, but that's good news. I say, um, I still think the best advice I can give, because I just don't know, is um, check out the Fallout London pages and stuff. Uh, Xbox mod page, cool. Nice. Hmm, I can imagine it does take up a lot of memory. YouTube always gives you a copyright strike on this music. Well, I'll just tell them not to do it because Bethesda own it, so. And Bethesda are okay with that, so. Yeah, that's just an error on their end. Just tell them it's fine. Just challenge it, it should be fine. Um, anyway, shall we? Um, see how we go. I've also got more, I've got a couple of mods running, uh, unofficial patch, a couple of other bits and pieces. Top of the list, though, is. Um, um, uh, disabling radios so I don't get issues. Um, a few things I just want to quickly check on here. Um, voices need to be up maximum. It needs to be down a bit lower than that. Packs need to be up at maximum. Um, I'll leave the radio there because I think I'll probably need it for specific things, won't I? Um, bu -bu 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 should be fine. Um, Play. So hard. Uh, very hard should be where I should really be, shouldn't it? I'm not going on survival because it's just not too much like hard work right now. So we'll do that right now. Watch my hubris kick me in the bottom. So, uh, yeah. I'm playing technically currently Nora, but there you go. This is what I made him look like. And I actually quite like the look. It kind of. Rugged EX soldier type, I think that works. And um, I just almost like the look of the character enough that I kind of wish um, I could do. Yeah, I kind of wish I'd um, gone for him because I'm quite happy with the result. On the other hand, let's just turn that around so you actually see her in the light. That's the look I've gone for. It's a modified version of the basic one, but it works. A little bit of makeup, and I've got a name lined up as well, so it should be cool. Uh, oh, I know what I haven't done. Um, I think that's probably good. I have subtitles, haven't we? Good morning, everybody. <laughs> ah, good morning, Mum. Your coffee. 173.5 degree Fahrenheit. Brewed to perfect. You can say that, guys. How we doing? And today's new mm -mm. Yeah, she should be installed as standard. Grognak the Barbarian and should the be. jungle of On the PC. babies. <laughs> I could check that. I don't need to worry about it because I'm not going to get far enough today for it to be an issue. But... Codsworth? Enjoy your coffee, Mum. Big one that concerns me there is um, uh, uh, Automaton because sometimes you get... Um, uh, uh, yeah, sometimes that DLC is a bit iffy, so... You know, the random uh, raiders end up being all Rust Eagles, don't they? Not Rust Eagles, but you know what I mean. Uh, Rust Devils, isn't it? I think. It's been a minute. Hmm. Make sure you have DLC specifically. Alright, let's have a look then. Uh, that one. There you go. <laughs> oh, they're all installed then. That's fine. You just watched the show? I thoroughly enjoyed it. Just uh, marathoned the whole thing today. Right, now then. In fact, not working again. <laughs> and there we are. 
Saturday, October 23rd, 2077. I don't know why he keeps bothering you. And now look at the sport. More of the same. Oh, it's been way too long since I've gone through this. A couple of years at least. He's persistent. I'll give him that. <laughs> uh, I forgot to have a look and see what uh, stats I wanted, so I have to make an educated try and remember. Uh, you know, educated, not exactly guess, but. Hmm. My hawk and a gun slick him. That's nice. Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. It's not auto installed. It hasn't launched yet. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. I think I've got a couple of visual it's mods a on though. Utmost urgency, I assure you. Uh, urgency? What's so important? Why nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, ma'am, this you country is good. has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, the big kaboom is it's inevitable, I'm afraid. Mm. Even just sooner than you may think, if you catch my meaning. Now I know you're a busy woman, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being um <laughs> a precious commodity. I'm Where's here the... today to tell you <laughs> that because of your Sometimes disappeared. service to our country. You have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Is it bad that I always think his bone structure reminds me of um, Todd Howard? Like, just the bone structure, but yeah. Uh, sounds great. Enough space. Go away. I'm busy. Uh, enough space? But I have a family. You can fit us all, right? Of How's it going, Harrison? In your new general, how are we doing? Minus your robot, naturally. I mean, those would include all the DLCs. That's a good question, actually. I would assume they'd update the DLCs. Be a daft oversight not to. Don't want there to be any holdups in the unforeseen event of <laughs> total atomic annihilation. <laughs> unforeseen. And yet, vault Tech's the biggest company in the world. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. Um. Tell me more about this vault. Oh, it has all the amenities of the modern home, I assure you. Not to mention total protection from nuclear radiation and hostile mutants. A better future underground. It's not only our mission, it's our passion. Ah, yes then. Sure, let's do it. Splendid, splendid. Now, it's finished the series. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Won't go so far as to call it perfect, but, you know, I, let's be honest, there's nothing in the world that really is. So, uh, yeah, but it was better than we could have hoped for, I think. There we are. It's the name I decided to go for. Yeah, I know it's one that Codsworth can say, and I went down the list of names Codsworth could say, and that one I just saw it, and I was like, that's sticking with me. <laughs> there were bugs in it. I distinctly remember numerous bugs getting stomped and shot and things like that. <laughs> oh, different kind of bug. Uh, but yeah, I really enjoyed it. I have uh, many questions, though. But uh, that's fairly normal. I had most of those questions. But, well, I had some of those questions uh, before. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, so, I am trying to remember what skills I want. Um, which I really can't do. Well, then it massively matters. Well, I can fix it on the way out of the vault, can't I? So, I'll double check. Give me a shout if you can remember, folks, to double check the the skills and perks and stuff before I leave the vault if I can. Um, but I think I want to go there at least for now. 
Um, not too bothered about endurance. I'll put a couple in there. A couple in there. Um, looks good. I think I'm going to go there. I think. No, actually, I think I'm going to go here. I think, but we'll check. That'll leave for now. Uh, X to accept. Okay. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the. Vault. Perfect. Low wise, but ninety percent. Yeah, I think so. Prepared for the future. Um. Thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I, I hate this nice. outfit, by the way. <laughs> So, um, yeah, little wise, I'm basically fine with most of it. I think he needs some of that maternal affection you seem to be so good at. <laughs> Go ahead, honey. I'll be there in a second to help, okay? But, um, yeah, I'm mostly okay with the law, even where there are a couple of issues. But I know the fact that it develops the existing law in occasionally in significant ways, the, without any spoilers on that. Um, there's going to be people who are going to be really butthurt about that fax. <laughs> so uh, brace yourself for that on the internet. A lot of late nights. It was worth it. On the island of Mamba Chow, the nights are cold. Unseasonably so for Southeast Asia. But for the 5th Infantry, that's as cold. And as you, Mr. Handy, good old Codsworth. All the easier for our mechanics. Mm. It's all this debate around who starts the Great War, but the truth is, it's uh, the player character by spinning that mobile. <laughs> My boy isn't giving his mother any trouble, is he? Hey, I fixed that mobile on his crib the other day. Why don't you give it a spin? Problem is, the minute you do that, you end the world. It's entirely the player's fault for spinning that mobile. <laughs> With the fucking missiles on it, because obviously. Well, it's an interesting sort of game development. That's factoid, that one. On his best behavior, just like his dad. Well, most of the time, anyway. Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Uh, Halloween prep sounds fun. Do what? Uh, sarcastic. Uh, I'm going to go with sarcastic, because I know it isn't. It's funny. Oh, right. The park. With you, because I want to get pregnant again. Sir, mum, <laughs> come and see me. No, absolutely not, Courtney. What's wrong? Like I say, I really, really enjoyed it, and uh, yeah, hundred percent one season two. There's certainly a number of unanswered questions that need to go. Um, yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. Need to be Sounds answered in season two. <laughs> What did he say? Yeah, exactly. No. Oh no. We do, we do have, we do have coming in. That's um. Confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed. And in birth, yeah, 2015. In New York and Nearly Australia. ten years ago. My God. Nearly. Well, nearly nine we years ago. But still, no. either way, too bloody long ago. Scary. Residents. I do seem to remember the occasional intermittent bug around there. Hold on. Vault participants, this way. Oh, it crashed. <laughs> yep, I kind of knew it was going to do that. Um, yeah, did, don't know if it did this on PC to me last time, or if it used to. Uh, play anyway, um, or if it used to do it on console. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> that crash is a long-standing issue, and I seem to remember there was a way of dealing with it, but I forget what it is. Hopefully we'll be able to get past it nice and quickly. Hmm. Same old fallout. Well, yeah, it's not a significant update in a long time. So crashing on consoles, I'm sure it does. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, 
if you are registered. Evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. There it goes again, yeah. I've got a hunch and a theory. Um, I seem to recall disabling your mods makes a difference there. But I don't 100% know, so I'm going to see if I can do something about that. Crushes the uh, console with one of the weather mods. Yeah, you can imagine that's uh, possibly it. I've got a feeling somewhere in the back of my memory that disabling mods solves the problem. Um, uh, what I, um, disable one that I definitely do not want to disable. Let's just make sure no problems there. Um, that one. I'm going to risk trying to leave that one on just because, yeah, it could cause issues if I don't. We'll see how we do. Yeah, I'm just going to knock them all on the head. We'll get through and uh, down into the vault and then I'll turn it back on again. Or we'll try anyway. <laughs> Just read it. Uh, oh, that's interesting. I'll have to have a look. Is that 76? Residents of Sanctuary Hills. Evening, Feline. How's it going? Yeah, I watched the whole series this afternoon. Well, today. <laughs> I wanted to get it uh, done and dusted so nobody could ruin it for me because I know they otherwise would. Well, that didn't work, did it? That's unfortunate. Hmm, let's see if we can't uh, find a quick answer. Oh, fuck you, you piece of shit. Phone is being a dick. I turned it off today, I don't think it's upset about it. Um... Yep, when running to the vault. It's not there. Um, I assume not, but all right. Let's try a quick thing here. See if this might work. Because there's a launcher, because they still did that. <laughs> still barely functioning two hours of sleep. Easy enough. Yeah, I understand how that goes. Um, right. Let's try that. <laughs> yes, I do have a controller plugged in. Yeah, it takes me back as well, feeling. 
stuff to him. Yeah, not so ideal. <clears throat> yeah, I did not stay up for it. I was like, I've just literally just got my um, sleeping pattern back to something decent. I am not staying up all night and ruining it immediately afterwards. So, uh, yeah, I was uh, new on that one. So I got up this morning and... Uh, it was crushes with controller. Well, I can try it without if that's uh, part of the problem. Rings a bell, actually. I've turned off the thing that uh, it was suggested I turn off, so we'll see how that does. Here we go. Yep, there we go. Weapon debris. We made it past. Where is he? There he is. Such an icon. You don't get in. I'm going in. You can't stop me. Like a mini gun to the face will stop you. I'm reporting this. If you're in the program, step Poor forward. Fella. Otherwise, return home. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good luck, sir. You two, follow me. Come on. What's going to happen to all those people outside the gate? Everything we can. Now keep moving. Are you going to get blowed up? That's what's going to happen. Step on the platform in the center. Here we go. He's fine. <laughs> We're gonna be okay. I love you. Oh my god! <laughs> Hold on! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Yep. You'd have probably been fucked if it hit you that quickly. <laughs> Although surprisingly, we did it. We made it. The distance you have to be from the blast to survive without particular Lord, adverse effects, at least short term wise, in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. from an individual we'll blast, anyway, is actually not that far. Home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just. Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we left a minute later. No, no, oh, we yeah. don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Everyone, just head up these stairs and through the door there. We'll be seeing you later, buddy. Hey there. Never really stopped to think about him before. And uh, we do get to see his skeleton, don't we? Anyway. This way, Mayo. We'll get everyone. Right. Get everything working again. Actually, I need to uh, quit to the desktop probably and turn the. Uh, uh, actually. Mm, yeah, screw it. You know, we'll uh, we'll try it. I'm going to turn that uh, setting back on and see if we're okay with it. And if it starts causing issues again later, I'll. Um, yeah, not bother with it. And uh, that should hopefully be okay. Now I'll turn my mods back on as well. <sighs> I see my settlement related. Yeah, most of mine were. I had a few visual bits and pieces and stuff like that. But uh, not done much settlement building in Fallout since I went on to PC, so I don't actually have that much there. I need any of the rest of this, do I, right now? And yeah, I'm tempted to put that on. Um, probably won't be worth it right now, though. Um, I think otherwise we're basically okay, aren't we? Yeah, cool. So, yeah, there's a couple of visual stuff, but nothing major. And there is some um, 
Uh, the other building mods, but again, nothing major. Okay. Hopefully, all will work this time. <laughs> I kind of forgot about that uh, issue, but uh, I do remember having this problem last time. Uh, or in the past, at least. Ow. Bang my hand on the desk, that's fine. And here we go. We'll get everyone through this as quickly as possible. Female. Just head up the stairs. Oh, the tech is here for you. Here you are. All new it's residents, please proceed good. in an orderly fashion. Right over there, please. Welcome home. Female. Male and infant. Female. Yeah, that, that would seem like a weird thing to say Take for a second, though. Then head down the hall. <laughs> Take a suit. The arrow's Take literally suit. right there on the floor. She went what around it. Now just head down the hall. Bit different in uh, one eleven. I don't know what the uh, mentality the for the vault right suit is. In a lot of the, the stuff, here. but there's a very practical right, you three. Follow me. Um, reason in terms of See? this game. This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Everything we had. Ma'am? My mother and father yep. down in DC. How long do you think we'll be down here? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. 210 years. Yeah, checking everyone off the list as they come in. As well, as comfortable. Prepared for the future. Right? Well, for me, slightly less for Sean. Slightly more close to inf infinite amount of time for him. I hope you'll see this as your new home. Oh, well, thank you. This never struck me as sus at all. <laughs> Just step in here and put your vault suit on. It'll be okay. Mommy's right here. See? Who is my little guy? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. There she is, see? Mommy's not going far. All set? Just step inside and put on your vault suit. Here we go. Ah, uh, takes me back. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Indeed. Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete. In five, four. <laughs> yeah, just strip off in front of everybody. Under the circumstances, a little bit of public nudity is frankly not exactly high on the priority list, though. What with the world ending and all. Start this game, um, especially the first time I played it, and watching the show for the first time, same kind of feeling. It was uh, so cool. Especially after waiting so long for it. It was even more intense. Shit. Mr. Cornflake, yeah. 
finish him off with a uh, flamethrower will probably end up nice and crunchy. As the start of games go, there are some great ones out there, but this is definitely well up there. <laughs> Jinxed it. I'm going to turn that thing off and leave it off. Oh uh, dear. Who has tinnitus now thanks to Gillow? Yeah, well, I mean... I'd imagine that's the worst thing to uh, occur to somebody who spends a life in the wasteland. Um, that's the one I want. Hang on. I know you can't see what I'm doing, but uh, I'll soon have this fixed. There's a setting in the options called Weapon Debris, and apparently that's the problem. I don't even know what it's supposed to do, but uh, apparently it's the problem. Doesn't play well with um, 20 and up, 20 series and up graphics cards, apparently. <laughs> hey, no issue this time. There has to be a release. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's not another old scrolls we in prison. <laughs> yeah. I assume we'll be in prison somewhere or other in uh, the next one as well. I'll find who did this. And I'll get Sean back. I promise. Rip. Memories. Memories! Poor handsome Nate. I know, I spent all that time and effort to uh, make him look like a badass, and he's probably got himself shot in the face. <laughs> Took pride in 76 and showing you dog meat statue. Well, you kind of got it, haven't you? Uh, vault suit. Springs, always useful. Yeah, coming out here and hearing the words cryo every couple of minutes, we're like, hang on, okay, I know what the fuck's been done to me. What's the outcome of that gonna be? <laughs> he rather did. Button was equipped. Stim pack. Man, this takes me back. <laughs> See, uh, they really went into the Fallout 4 vibe for the show. 
visual voice. What the hell? Indeed. Rectal eject hollow tape. Yeah, let's see that. Alarm indicates a mania has been detected. Leave room immediately. Do not enter without hazmat protection. Hmm. Well, I don't know what's in a hot plate in this game because it's been too long and I don't remember anymore. Or in a toaster, but I feel it's probably a good idea. Jesus, somebody's dinner didn't agree with them. I don't remember there being a stint back in here. Maybe we can give another bathroom. Sleep. <laughs> Already. <laughs> Your favourite ghost hunter? Yeah, it's... It's... Tying, I think, with Fallout 3 for me, but Fallout 3 is the first one I played, and I love the setting and the um, story and numerous things about Fallout 3. As I keep saying, I really freaking love the metro system and the way that all works in 3 as well. That's the block, okay. I don't remember there's stuff in here worth grabbing, but I don't know, maybe it's just me. Ah, yeah, I got beat. Oh well. Fortunately. Soon fix that, won't we? Circuitry, yeah, I remember circuitry. I couldn't remember if there's anything else. Hello. Stem backs. Yeah, boy. One of my favourite weapons. I really do love the design of this thing. Ooh, Bobby Finn, don't mind if I do. Eyeglasses, nice. Some benefits from those. Nice. Coming back later for you. Some spare. And some bullets. I'm sure I remember there being more bullets stashed around in there somewhere, but uh Ooh. My hand doesn't like being on a controller because it's not used to it. PC feline. Yeah, more ammo. Five bobby pins now. What happened here? Where is everyone? Well, the old clear didn't come through and they got angsty and basically mostly killed each other. <laughs> Split into factions and killed each other. Locked. Trust will keep me busy. Yeah, I'm sure he will. Hygienic freezing in a portable on demand form. Logs and everything, which I'm not going to go through right now because we've all done it before, haven't we?
There we go. We got more, fortunately. That'll leave for right now. Uh, A to accept, okay. You can actually use vats even before you get your pit boy, which doesn't make a right lot of sense, but hey. <laughs> That's another one of the greatest perks and seekers to get affinity. Yeah, that is uh, definitely an upside with that. I'm not going to be worrying too much about such things today, but... Yeah. That's nice, nice. The door has now opened back to. Uh... Is this all that's left? Back to the cryo chambers. Presumably, as a result of me opening the uh, escape tunnel, I guess. Oof. Hands are very not used to. Uh... Controllers. <laughs> I should shift and see if I can't uh, put my hands somewhere else. I don't know. Let's try that. Well, I don't think there's much else to find other than me good old Pip Boy. Also, with your name on it. Yeah, that's a classic for sure. Grubby. <laughs> well, it is now, anyway. And here we go. Um. Yeah, okay. So, I would like to... Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. Existing one or a new one. Wedding ring. I guess this will give me a boost my perception, which is not a bad idea. Uh, stick with mine, I think. I should like, pick a bunch of this stuff up as a, something I can sell on down the road, but... Uh, I'm not going to worry about it. Mm-hmm. No, probably not. So Stimpaks go there, incidentally. They don't go anywhere else. All other positions are incorrect and uh, not acceptable. If you put your stim pack anywhere else, you're playing the game wrong. Let's go. Just finished the TV series, man. Right? Nice. Yeah, I thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. I don't know. I'll go twenty out of ten. Joking aside, I think I'd probably go mm, a solid eight, maybe even a nine. Probably eight. But I really, really enjoyed it. I use this, well, almost this version of the uh, vault door anyway. A little bit of 76 in there. I look forward to seeing the graphics upgrade because it still doesn't look bad as is. I've got a few tweaks on there, but...
Here comes the vault door. On the left. Holy moly. Man, memories. Yeah, there was a whole bunch of stuff in there that was like, oh, that's really cool, that's really cool, I recognise that. And it was like little things from the games that were some really cool nods as well. How's it going, Carl? Uh, this is not the next gen upgrade. No, that's due out at the end of the month. Uh, 25th, I believe it was. Um, right, so that's that. Does anyone remember? There it is. Where the perk chart is. <laughs> this has been a hot minute for me. Um, Non-automatic rifles. Yeah, definitely want points in that. Don't know if I want automatic ones as well. I haven't got any points to allocate, I don't think, right? Right now. Mind myself. Yeah, that's not a bad one. Okay. I'll tell you, thank you very much for the sub. <laughs> Spotted uh, a Miss Pebbles first. Oh, that was a good eye. Gray, I didn't spot that. Spotted lots of cool little details, but uh, not that one. Um, cool. That one I do remember being uh, melee and unarmed attacks do more, but the damage resistance is still not bad. Asha, strong back. We got a blacksmith. Uh, not too terribly worried about that, but I do need to get at least level 3 in there, which is okay because I've put enough points in that. Um, yeah. Oh, what a good, there's good perks everywhere in this, but I just can't remember most of them because it's been so bloody long. Uh, mind attempting. I do like that perk. Cap collector is not a bad one to have either. Lone Wanderer, well, mm, I think I'm going to do that. Uh, local leader, party girl, yeah. Never felt the need to uh, to take that. I think gun nuts. So I do need more perks in intelligence than I actually put in there, but that's fine. Um, so do we need gunslinger? I think I probably need there. Sneaks worth having. This is Sandman's worth having. Action Girl is yeah, worth having. Um, hmm. Range sneak attacks, yeah. Ninja's worth having. Uh, too bad about that right now. That is useful if you get a melee. And gun food is worth having, so I need. Uh, Yeah. Um. And basically, my question is whether or not I want to pull some points back out of here. Probably do want to drop one from there. And what if I stuck that in there? I'd get moving target. And if I put it over here, I wouldn't get very far. What have we got in the lock? Idiot, idiot, idiot savant. Yeah, that's that's always fun. Uh. So I should probably stop there at luck three. Then well, mind you, all of the rest of it's useful as well. <laughs> uh, decisions, decisions. Maybe... I don't know. I pulled one out of... What was it? I was going to definitely pull one out of... Um, perception and move it over towards... Something, anyway. 
uh, intelligence, I think. God, I can't remember. Um, yeah. Um, just make sure I didn't F this up for the start of the game, really. That's a big problem. Yeah, I think that's the one change I will make. So. Name and special attributes. Yeah, so we decided one's coming out of here. And it's going in there. And I would like to pull some more out of elsewhere and move them around. But I will need them eventually. So, again, maybe not right now. Let's put one out there for now and put it in there as well. That's going to be the play, isn't it? Yeah. In appearance and name specials. Ah, I think we're good. Ooh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Here we go. Yeah, it is the same power armor HUD, isn't it? There we go. There's a whole bunch of stuff in there that uh, I spotted and really thought was cool. I managed to finish the series, got that done just under an hour before we kicked off. Heading just, looking just southeast there, at strongly heating the fact that your journey is going to take you in this direction. So there's our home over there, all the remains of it. Red rocket station, you see Concord in the distance. And just about, very, very far away, is uh, the edges of Boston. Man. Good old times. Good didn't drink. <laughs> yep, I knew this was going to be a massive nostalgia hit, especially as I haven't played in a while. And uh, I was not wrong. You birds survived. It's pretty surprising. They are basically dinosaurs. I mean, yeah, in some ways the game does show its age, but in other ways it holds up surprisingly well. And I've got a couple of graphics mods on, but nothing heavy, so... I don't like texture stuff, really, so... Yeah, a couple of little ones, but... Man, so cool. Let's fans! Don't remember what's in coffee pots. First bottle cap! We don't need a lot of those, but let's take a couple anyway. More ammo. We need a switchblade, but hey. Ooh. This takes me back. Am I going to side with... Um, if I side with anybody on this, which I probably won't get far enough, it'll either be Minutemen or Railroad, I think. Probably. I always felt I would fully understand why a mother might side with the Institute on this one. But I very much doubt I'll be getting that far. Not if I need to pick up flowers. They are useful for something, but I can't remember what. It's been too long. Let's be back. Yeah, other than today, this is basically going to be a, a bit of a one-off. Um... Fallout London is coming up. We'll play that in a couple of weeks. So many memories. Um, yeah, we'll play Fallout London in a couple of weeks. And, uh, and there's a ton of other stuff to be uh, keeping me busy with as well. So Have 
like I remember there being a lot more scrap lying around here. Well, that was excellent cheating. Boom. Ah, good memories. Many, many good memories. Nuka Cherry. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I remember how to unlock stuff. Do you know it's darn so easier to be precise with a mouse and keyboard? Yes. Roman skull and a military cap. Hell yeah. Plus one perception as well. Okay, that's definitely worth having. It'll still make my character look pretty cool. <laughs> Step X. Sanctuary Hills ain't what it used to be. <laughs> so iconic. One thing I definitely do need to do before we push too far out is... Ooh, here we are. Check whether or not... The rug glitch still works, because I am, like, basically 100% sure it does. But every so often, uh, hmm, interesting. I get a comment saying, oh, it doesn't work anymore. Yeah, mate, here it does. 100% does work. But, uh, I just want to uh, see if I can remember how to do it. Uh, disarm bomb, yes, please. Um, trap. And unlock safe. Uh, ooh, there's a pipe pistol in there, which is useful. Uh, well, it's not really useful. Might be potentially useful as a backup, but I don't imagine I need it. Could hack that, but I'm not going to fire for right now. Somewhere around here. That's a surprisingly good nick, considering he's 200 years old. Yes, I knew I remembered a... Uh, freaking rad roach that jumps you around here. I'm gonna push on down there yet, yeah, cooking station. Got you before you got me, just I think. Yes. And so takes me back. Use this building as an early game survival mode house. Did a build around it once long ago. Uh no, that one. Bum, 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 bum. 
second favorite. Right away. See what that looks like. Quite cool. What stats are we looking at? By buff to charisma. Oh, nice. No defensive capabilities, though, so I'm not going to keep it, but... Yep, stash radio is defaulting to off, which is nice, because otherwise I'd be in trouble. But that's what the uh, the mod that's is for. Really strong. Yeah, damn it. It still works. Yeah, there's, there's no way it doesn't work. Somebody who hasn't quite got the knack of it. And to be fair, there is definitely a knack to it. But, yeah, getting a, li a little frustrated with their struggles, I guess. And yeah, I get it. We, we've all been there. But um, I my old rug glitch video, at least, oh, at least once every couple of months, somebody tries to tell me it doesn't work anymore. It's like, dude. No. Mm -hmm. Are you freaking sure I hit you? I did, it just didn't take him down for some reason. I'm sure. Man, I freaking forgot how much I love this game. Literally a life changer. <laughs> Can't look at a ride roach and think yum food. Same thing with a bloke fly, really, isn't it? I missed one. Well, I'm ready to double tap. And, uh, yeah, you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, right? Bloke flies don't really appeal to me as uh, a great food source either, but. Like pistol. He obviously tried to uh, fence himself in here, protect himself from something. Whether they succeeded or not is an open question. Probably not, given that there's a corpse in the corner next to a pipe pistol. That implies post-war. Also kind of implies that they were trying to protect themselves from Codsworth, maybe. Maybe. Shotgun shells. I remember we sell unneeded ammo in large quantities to get more caps for more ammo, don't we? That's the uh, Fallout 4 way. There's stuff on the roof of this house, I believe, and around back there's a root cellar. I think there's a root cellar, isn't there? Remember there being a root cellar? There is. Yummy on devil eggs looks a lot better than you expected them to look. Yeah. Uh, I would agree there. I imagine... Uh, I would imagine they are probably pretty horrific IRL. I don't think I actually need shovels in this game, do I? But I imagine after a long time, they only get worse. But then again, maybe if they've been preserved in a vault for a long period of time. 
minute stout. Don't mind if I do, thank you very much. Gold bars. To be honest, in the early game, probably more useful for their monetary value. Won't be able to pick this. I had a mod that um, repurposed that space. Float flying room. Um, Red Roach Pizza sounds interesting. Because we're taking out via mod? Nope. Just uh, deliberately avoiding him until I'm done having a look around. <laughs> Evening, Ferb. How's it going? Uh, very much enjoyed the premiere. Enjoyed the whole series now that I've watched it all. Oh, thought it was uh, crashing for a minute there. Had a lot of fun with it. Not doing survival mode? No. Not for, um, well, no. <laughs> and especially not for um, a one off like this. Now. Oh. Hold button. Um, molly, 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 molly. Oi, oi, oi. Just don't remember how to equip them. I don't remember how to throw them. Yeah, I can. It's been a long old time. <laughs> how did it in a single day? Um, deliberately, I think it's probably a good word. I knew I'd be running into spoilers sooner rather than later if I didn't, so. Um, especially as some people seem to be very salty about the fact I enjoyed it. But, uh, yeah, I felt uh, I should probably get ahead of things and then people can't ruin it for me, can they? But, uh, yeah, it's only about eight hours long, so only. It's not exactly short, but uh, it's manageable. I think this was the voice was a good idea. I am fine with the idea. Um, but I can see why others prefer not. T-shirt and slacks. Um, ah, that's what I'm remembering. I think I'm having flashbacks to decorating this place. No, no. I'm just uh, getting what's were. Yeah, it's Codsworth just over there. Can you see him? Yeah, you can, just by the tree. This is my usual MO here, is... Uh, run around the outside and... Apparently I'm a bad shot. Pity is the crit, it just seems a little bit wasteful at this point. Some people don't like it, I know, shocking, isn't it? Yeah. Then again, that's a an all too large chunk of the supposedly Fallout fan population. For uh, a fan base, they seem to devote way too much time and energy to crapping on the game in lieu of having an actual personality. But, uh, you know, what can you do? <laughs> yeah, I got through the first two then, Tengu. Got to where I got... well, where we all got to at the premiere. Yeah. Seriously good shit. Nice. Yeah, the implementation definitely had room for improvement. Oh, show. Right. Um, that's... I guess that's busted. And I don't think you'll get into there without... Doing things up, so let's kind of do things as the game intended. And us all to maybe. I do like to loot a fair chunk of uh, 
the place first. I don't really know why. I'm sure you used to have a good reason for it. I'm not sure I do anymore. <laughs> I do also know sometimes when you're looting this place, you can end up a little bit too close to Codsworth and accidentally trigger the conversation from inside the house. So, these couple of houses are worth leaving until after you've been to chat to. Codsworth! Where's the protagonist? Yeah, I'm with you. Um, does the TV series borrow from the most? I'd say a combination of three and four, but uh, a big chunk of both. Visually, it's four. Story elements are both. Um, albeit being entirely new. What happened? This isn't happening. Everything's dead. You're still here. You're still here. Codsworth, you're still here. So... Other people could still be alive, too. Well, of course I'm still here. Surely you don't think a little radiation could deter the pride of General Atomics International. But you will see the worst for wear. Best not let the hubby see you in that state, huh? Where is Sir, by the way? Uh, better place. They killed him. Can't be dead. What's from killers? You kill them. Um, bu -bu 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 yeah, I'm not going to go with a better place. Husband's killers is a little bit too mercenary. He can't be dead is a little bit too naive. I'm just going to go with the kill them. They. They killed him. Oh, mum, these things you're saying. Yeah, definitely, Felina. Terrible things. I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this, this dire mood. But how matte the colours on Codsworth are. Checkers, or, or perhaps Shiraz. Oh, Sean does so love that game. <laughs> is, is the lad uh, with you? Uh, yeah, some ways. You've seen him, they stole him, he's kidnapped, nothing makes sense. Uh, he's been kidnapped. Sean's been kidnapped. And I'm going to find him. I'm going to get my baby back. It's worse than I thought. Mm -hmm. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> 200 years? What? Are you... A bit over 210, actually, Mum. It'll take a little for the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. That means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack. You must be famished. Uh, let's see if we can't talk him down. Sometimes people hold information on caps. You can attempt to persuade them into sharing both. Codsworth, you're acting a little weird. What's wrong? I... Yeah. I... No one to talk no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing. And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. <laughs> and the car, the car, how do you polish rust? Kind of one of the reasons you do polish, usually, isn't it? With metal. But anyway. Uh, did I finish the show? I did, yes. Um, got through the whole thing today. And thoroughly enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, I can see why uh, you'd want to cross over a little bit there. Um, I kind of knew I'd want to play Fallout 4. So I set up for doing that. Uh, stay with me. What do you know if I guess? Stay with me. Stay with me, pal. Focus. I'm afraid I don't know anything, Mum. The bombs came, and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were, were dead. I, I did find this holotape. I believe Sir was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. 
Um. A hollow tape? What's on it? I believe it's a private message for you. My etiquette protocols would not permit me to play it for myself. Any standard holotape reading device should be able to play it back. Oh, like that Pip-Boy on your arm. That should work brilliantly. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? Sir and young Sean may turn up yet. Uh, it's dangerous. Uh, anything dangerous? Have you seen anything dangerous? Oh, just the usual, Mum. Pesky neighborhood dogs and mosquitoes. Shall I investigate? Interesting pronunciation. Uh, already looked. Codsworth, I already looked. I like that that changes depending on whether or not you actually already looked. Waste of time, Sean's out there, what now? It's okay, Sean's out there. Sean's out there, Codsworth. I need to find him. What about Concord, Mum? A mod flicker there, I think. There. Um, I'm guessing. Last I checked, they only pummeled me with sticks a few times before I had to run back home. Concord? There's still people alive in Concord? Yes, although they're a bit rough. Uh, you remember the way? Just across the southern footprint yeah. of the neighborhood and past the Red Rocket Station. A bit rough, I'm sure they were, with them being raiders and all. And there we are. So, first thing I'm going to do um, is grab those bottle caps. Ah, oh, man. Memories, memories. Writer. Duct tape. Wrench. Uh, yeah, definitely a massive blast from the past. There we go. Open up the workshop. Okay, you didn't actually mean to do that. Uh, transfer stuff in. Um, I'm going to keep most of this, I think. Well, maybe not. I might store some of it. Where's my two? The laundry denim dress for that one. You know, some plans of female character. Um, bum, 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 bum. This is all going in. Store all junk. Okay, that works. Save some hassle. Um, I will probably stash some bits and pieces. That uh, I'm saving to sell so that I don't have to lug it with me for a bit. Use this place as my player home before now as well. It's different occasions, in fact. And some right away, ammo, and some outfits. Hmm. Yeah, didn't work for you, did it, not Fina? I kind of enjoyed it. But, uh... Yeah. Kind of can't remember how... I think I kind of had it spoiled for me anyway, to be honest. I spent so long getting to that, finishing the game point, and, uh... Mostly getting distracted by the settlement building, that by the time I got there, I think I probably had a fair idea of what was going on anyway. See here, brushes. Pretty sure tin cans of steel, aren't they? Given the choice, I usually like to set up camp in here, in one's former home. Just because, you know, it, it's, it feels like the sort of most law friendly thing to do. 
baby bottle. That's not fucking depressing either. Bingo. Here we go. Critical hits with unarmed and melee attacks do extra damage. Well, I'm going to be using that, but anyway. I'm going to have to leave the fridge, though. Uh, the tester! I want this in Fallout 76 as a functional cooking station, please. And thank you. I'm saying like a broken record, but it's driving me around the twist. <laughs> Did watching the last time <laughs> make you want to play Fallout? That? that is a good question. I'm coming, sweetheart. Yeah, but the book's in here, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. Last radius. What attribute would I like to buff? Um, I don't know. Um, a couple over there in intelligence, didn't I? Strength, endurance, charisma. Some good stuff in agility, but it's further up. Lux two. Perception, strength. Hmm. Um, bum, 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 luck. Well, then it really matters. <laughs> it's in better days. <laughs> Biggest struggle was not having my super. Yeah, that would uh, see why that would take a bit of getting used to. Right, I don't think there's anything really worth storing anything in there. In, so I'm gonna stick it in here because it's probably the play. Um, okay. Now, actually, I just a thought, actually. What I don't remember is whether or not I learn things by scrapping or not in this game. I don't remember at all. No, I think you only get the mods by upgrading your skills, don't you? Um, what have I got? Hardened requires... Apparently I can do that. Powerful, can't do that. I'll go hardened. Let's do that. And I do want to move towards doing rifles and stuff, but I think, yeah, for right now, it's probably the play. Long barrel would clean out my adhesive and not be worth it. Rip, recoil and accuracy. Don't need the magazine. Sights could put glow sights on it. Kind of wouldn't mind doing that. And this I could probably turn into some kind of rifle. I mean, for ammo, not too bad actually. The hardened one still wouldn't be very good though, will it? No, I don't think it's worth bothering with that. Um. Proof tip fire accuracy, inferior range and sighted accuracy. Go. Cool. Recall and hip fire. First uh, cool. adhesive. Okay, let's do glow sights and I stand the comfort grip on it. For now. And I get a level for my trouble. You could be far away from getting one. Yeah, I mean, there's ways of working around marsupial, but kind of not really the not really the goal, is it? Um, right. So I'd like to move more towards riflemen.
But I don't have any perks to put... Well, I don't have any guns for it yet, so it's probably not worth it. Better off... Probably taking gun nut and being able to upgrade it. Um, action girl's not terrible either. Gun nut would be good. Maybe not my biggest priority right now. Um, lock, uh, pickpocket. No, I don't really want that. Um, not picking. Yeah, where are the skills for lock picking? Do not remember. Um. Oh, there they are, locksmith. Okay. Um. That's probably a strong bet, really, isn't it? Um. Or upgrades. Stealth is also useful. Sneakiness is not a bad thing to have. Um. I'm going with this one. I think for now, locksmith. Cool. I believe there are a couple of uh, um, actually no watch just in case of emergency mm, yeah just in case of emergency um, I think there's a couple of safes I need to open I'm not bothering about that those can go in there, that can go in there those can go in there as well uh, cool. Not that this can go in because I'll probably be selling it. Um, Do you want to do? Drop that in there. Um, what's something else I forgot I wanted to do, but uh, I'll figure it out. Are you doing it? No, we doing? The Vanessa Kim plants. <laughs> not interesting idea. I usually remember that from uh, New Vegas. Vaguely. So when I did open, why were the ones that I couldn't open? Oh, look at those colours from the uh, lighting mod that I've got rolling at the minute. I don't think well, there was one in, in here, wasn't there? I think. Meat fruit? I don't think, if I remember rightly, you can harvest wild meat fruit, but you can't then plant it because it's wild. Which I think is uh, the opposite to 76, if I remember right. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, I thought so. Well. Sweet. Not what I'd call amazing, but not terrible either. Uh, no has been about, I think. I think. Some losing my marbles. Which is entirely conceivable, but... How long some of these loading times are they? So it takes place after Fallout 4? Yeah, about nine years, I think. Yeah. So good. Still reeling a little bit. Oh, I was going to do some things while I waited, but uh, yeah, still reeling a bit from the show, but thoroughly enjoyed it. I don't think they could have done a better job of making it feel like if a Fallout video game was a TV show. <laughs> I think they captured that absolutely spot on. Oh, it's on the other end of town, isn't it? Fine, because I will need to go that way. So I need to make a bed at some point. I need to bump the time on.
feel like this was, was never actually a bed in there, which is a bit weird now that I think about it. Um, <clears throat> but this is where the safe was, so. Sweet. Yeah, nothing uh, spectacularly exciting, but. Let's see if we can craft some armor as well. It might not be a bad idea before I push on. Actually, before we crash out and push on, ooh, what about you? There are a couple of things we could now do. Firstly, frag grenades. Uh... Yeah, those can go there. In the new West Coast Wales and the but I have not yet. I have not logged into 76 today. I got up this morning, uh, had a cup of coffee, got myself sorted out, and settled in to watch the show. Ooh, revolver rifle, nice. I'm glad I picked that up. And since then, that's about all I've done. Where's the corpse? There's supposed to be a corpse. Also, the bridge is supposed to be busted, and I think I've got a mod that's fixing it, but I don't know what mod. Uh, there's supposed to be a corpse here. Or maybe it's because I bumped the difficulty. Possibly, but I don't think so. Anyway. What's the button? I'm trying to wonder if there is actually a button that opens the uh, build menu from... Further away, but if it is, I can't find it. Bounce the Soul Survivors going, Time Anchor Connect. Theoretically, they are a very, very long way away from each other, though. I mean, mind you, nine years apart, Soul Survivor could theoretically travel across um, um, the country. They won't do that, though, because they want to avoid uh, ending up. Um, putting a hard statement on which ending is canon in this game. So... Um, thank you very much on the V and the select, guys, but I have neither of those things on my controller. <laughs> also, I don't remember how to scrap things. There's so many things I do not remember right now. Are there sofas in here? I believe there are. Wonderful. Uh, should go a long way. <laughs> yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Scrapping is my only option. Okay. Not for this, though. It's now technically floating on the leaves, which is not really what I wanted, but... You know what? some of the mods not diving into that right now let's go back out to voucher beds yeah, well that's the only one I've got so that'll have to do on it let's 
That's a little bit too posh. That's way too clean. Um, yeah, there's some busted up stuff. <laughs> Uh, those down for one of those because it always bugs me when there's no bloody pillows available. In like this, is it? For some reason. I'll worry about that another day. <laughs> what I really want to do right now is kip. Um, let's go with that should do it about fine, I think. <laughs> It'll be the one on the left. Oh, there it is, yeah. Oh, just being dumb. Okay, that's fine. Either way, um, before we get rolling, I do want to see if I can craft anything quickly here. A boy in a bolt jump suit. Uh, and then technically put insulated lining on it. And uh, I don't have the adhesive right now, so we'll leave it as is. Just about what I expected. Right then. Concord. Mm Do you seem to remember there's a big bad badass pistol over that way I could go looking for if I wanted to? Potentially some stuff up there, though I might not be able to pick the lock. <sighs> Memories, eh? Evening, Steve, how are we doing? Dog. This is one thing I do want to quickly check. Hey, Hello, boy. buddy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? I don't know. You're a mutt. Let's go. You're okay. <laughs> you seem like an okay guy. <laughs> okay, then. Let's stick together. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing now. The truck stop. Ah, yes. The many memories. Just a little time. <laughs> I'm gonna find anything really worth. Oh yeah, I need to have a look at maybe consider possibly. Um, upgrading that rifle I found, didn't I? a look one of the more iconic build locations in fallout history for sure oh yeah kind of forgot about the the mole rats Not dead.
Um, how do I pop the crit? I can't bloody remember. Uh, yeah, whatever. Oh, X. I see. I remember. Like that. <laughs> Been so long since I played and actually used the controller. Ah, uh, memories, memories, eh? Need the meat, need the hide, really. Teeth, probably. I think I need the teeth, really, right now. All right, there, dog meat, buddy. Too many memories, <laughs> but also the little details of what gets away from me, you know? It's like little details. Crits are pretty damn significant detail, actually, but... Like, uh... I should do for now. Move out of the way, dog meat. Between me and a desk fan. That's not somewhere you want to be, buddy. Cool. Um, okay. Range of sighted accuracy, okay, down for that. Like to up the sights on it. I like adhesive, apparently. To hunt around for some of that. Um right. Revolver rifle is uh, 24 damage. Slightly more damage than my 10 mil for now. Uh... Cool. I don't think I've got any perks into rifle. I've got a few more points over there, I think. You point into any uh, skills. Oh, yeah, hard hat. Forgot about that. Does that actually provide me with any benefits in this game? I have a feeling it does, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, it does actually give me a little bit of damage resistance. Well, it's not snazzy as me, other hat, but, and I'd lose some perception points. That's the only problem. Um, actually, yeah, you know what? Perception's probably slightly more useful right now. Anything around here that's a good bet for finding adhesive in a spot. Especially for scrap it. Probably not. Knowing my luck. Ah yes, stop me opening every door in the vicinity, I remember that. Alrighty then. Well, do you like a better option? I, uh, I guess we quick save and push on. You know, Tony, how you doing? <laughs> Low in the moor right then. There might be adhesive down there. That's a good point. Yeah, I've been down there in a lot of years. I haven't actually got as much ammo for this as I thought I might have. Stick with this. Fungus. I seem to remember that out of use, but uh, what part is uh, slightly more outside of my uh, 
memories right now. Ooh, watch your fallout tonight, Antonio. Nice. I got through it today. Very, very, very much enjoyed. Disappointed that guy didn't end up dead there. Ooh, my hands are not used to controllers. Maybe I should have thought that through. Oh well. I might think it through ahead of playing um, Fallout London. Need to get back into practice. Depends on playing, I suppose. There's not many games I would actually rush to uh, I tagged something there. Oh, that's the bullpen hammer. Hmm. Yeah, there's not a lot of game. Oh dear. Uh, not a lot of games I rush towards um, playing with the controller, but there are a handful that just, that's the way they're designed and kind of uh, doing yourself no favours if you don't. Golden Ring Springs to mind as an example, Assassin's Creed, um, there might be some of the others I'm I'm looking at that may be a similar Oh, thanks. <laughs> that didn't go very well. Yeah, some of the other stuff that I've got in mind might be of a similar um, setup, you know. I'm finding a whole lot of adhesive down here. Uh, whole thing's out, son. All released simultaneously. Definitely some uh, substantial debate around whether or not that's a good thing, but... Evening, Kondo. How's it going? Yeah, I'm not having a lot of luck, am I? Oh well, that's fine. Oh, hello. Look at Cola, though. <laughs> oh good yeah it is a bit typical v line isn't it <laughs> made you go for a start but you watch the show next week yeah well you can watch the uh, the show for sure without having played the games but I think you get more out of it if you have um, probably on to for about another hour or so. Thereabouts. I only watched the first episode so far, Condor. Yeah, I got through it all today, you know, because so, I know I'd, I knew I'd end up getting spoilers if I didn't, so. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah, let's get rid of some of this stuff. I don't suppose I found anything really particularly helpful. Wrong button.
Put a scope on there. Hmm, no, I don't really want to. I've got nuclear material. I need more adhesive and screws for... Reflex side. Definitely. Oh, that's fine. It's the end of the world. Tell me how, and so on. See you anywhere? Um, uh, is this a confirmation of a second season? Technically, there is not confirmation of a second season, as far as I can tell. I know some people have decided to interpret certain things as being confirmation. Yeah, incorrectly. Blood bugs. Um, the interesting thing is that um, California has offered them some uh, tax breaks to make the second season there. Um, the, there are a number of things in place ready for a second season should it happen. Um, and there was something else as well. Like the whole thing is set up. Um, it's not set up as a... Yeah, I can't go on. As a cliffhanger, but because um, they said they didn't want to do that, because you know, streaming in some ways in the modern climate even more than um, TV in the past is iffy as to whether or not you're going to get cancelled at a moment's notice. Really, sometimes being successful is not reason enough for them not to cancel your show, which is very weird. But anyway, uh, so yeah, basically for those reasons. They didn't go cliffhanger. But the character's story, is without any spoilers, are definitely not over at the end of the uh, season. So. Yar, it's been cool. Oh, the place I'm looking for is up the hill, isn't it? I think. But yeah. Yeah, it's all set up around the idea that they will. It's just they just need green lighting, really. Hello. Lots of stuff there. Some of it's even good. What about him? Yeah. Really how good the Fallout 4 upgrade will be? Yeah, I think it'll depend on your circumstances, but I'm looking forward to finding that out too. Cool. Um, radiation resistance? Nah, I'm putting that on. Long John's less good than what I've got. Not really worth much either, but yeah, I can drop them later if I need to, can't I? Yeah, I'm definitely feeling like I've missed this game. Pity I don't really have the time to continue uh, playing after today, but. Go on, get him, dog, mate! Or don't. Either is a valid option, I suppose. <laughs> I will be playing Fallout London, yes. Um, you know, barring catastrophe, definitely want to play that. It comes out two days before the big old upgrade, though. So, uh, yeah, we all know what upgrades to games and updates and so on and so forth. Oh, yeah, bandana and welding goggles. Due to... Um, uh, mods, so... Well, 
Uh, we'll have to we'll have to see whether or not that causes a problem. But I've got some plans in place to kind of accommodate that. Also, I'll keep an eye on uh, pages for that when I get a minute. Got it. Jesus, walking fricking armory right now. Dog meat, me old mucker, me old mate. Hey. Um, technically, those are supposed to go on there as well. On, well, they can go on dog meat, but uh, I don't really want them to because I think he looks daft with those on. So, I will equip the bandana, because he doesn't look deaf with that, but it looks deaf with everything else. So where are we going? Entering. There's another settlement needs to up appeared. No, I'm just literally right at the beginning, so... Way down that road. Should be meeting Monsieur Garvey fairly soon, though. Lady Tyrant, guess what's with goals? Raider right arm, I'll have that. I don't think I want the harness either, but. Yeah, screw it, I'll take everything for now. Um... Yeah, pretty sure it's uh, less good than what I've got. Oh, there's a, there's a spot over here that's good to get into first as well, isn't there? I forget why I usually go in here first, but I'm sure there is a reason for it. Speaky, the workhouse. Okay. You said what the Fallout 4 update will be. Uh, yes, um, I skimmed it. Because uh, I only had about five minutes before I was supposed to start streaming. I considered uh, maybe making a video on it instead of streaming, but I concluded that the way to go would be to make the video tomorrow. So that's what I'm going to do. You said it, buddy. One thing that's particularly good in the series that uh, this game does kind of lack... I've got a better idea. Um, is the... Um, Lucy can react to the world around her in a way that your protagonist in this can't. It's like coming out of the vault and seeing the place in this state should elicit way more commentary than it does in this game. Obviously, Lucy can vocalise those things in a way that doesn't happen in this game. It's quite cool. Follow commands in the field. Can you not start field? I can't remember. No, I don't think you can. But yeah. My dear, the mechanic doesn't work that spectacularly well in this game either, so... Pros and cons. Got me some jet! Not very much of a chem user, but... Uh, not many who are. Uh, updates on all platforms, yeah. It's not the same on all platforms, because, um, yeah, different types of upgrades are necessary, but... Like the, the quality of the game is already higher on um, PC anyway, I think, so the nature of the change is a little different there. Yeah. But still, should be cool. Let's have a quick gander while I'm waiting for this then. Wonder if that's accurate or not.
That's right. Love to see you happy, people. All right, then. Well, there's one more thing I want. <laughs> always, always remember I sort of late that there's something else. Well, I don't always remember. I usually remember earlier than that, but it's been a long old time, so I'm going to do a little loop de loop de loop and hit this house here. This is worth hitting before. We go and uh, head towards the museum. up here sniper rifle hmm. well nice region implant yeah that's uh, the whole thing. That's a weird thing, that. Um, harder, some guns, red leathers, better damage resistance, but worse at everything else. Yeah. Um, so, pipe bolt action sniper. Um, you are going to go there. Apparently I don't have any ammo for it. That doesn't compute. At all. I can't remember where the heck the Pip-Boy button is. Um, there's a sniper. 308, I have no 308, and there wasn't any with it. That's weird. Okay, that kind of sucks, doesn't it? Oh, well. <laughs> Caps locks there. Yeah, if I was going to continue on with this, I'd probably switch to mouse and keyboard, probably, and then... I don't know, it seems weird using VATS on mouse and keyboard, but I feel like I should at least be set up and prepped to do that. I think we're good. I think you got them. <laughs> I don't be like to get involved, but you know. Hey, up here, on the balcony. I've got a group of settlers inside. The raiders are almost through the door. Grab that laser musket and help us, please! Laser musket, you say? Level up, says I. Ooh, leather right arm, nice. Well then, goggles. I mean, heck, I could probably stash most of this. I probably will stash most of this, I suspect. If only for you know, carry weight reasons. I assume I'm getting close to my carry weight. Actually, not really, but uh, stash it anyway. No dead, unfortunate fellow. Ah, oh, seems like a good place to stash. Um, let's just... I feel like there's a whole bunch of stuff in here I probably want to find as well. What I've forgotten about. Ooh, yep. Definitely some goodies. I don't know if the hard hat's worth anything, but... Hmm. <laughs> you go, um, Royal Armoury is put a fun video, Johnson Ferguson, Neil McCallum, and Forgotten Weapons. Play a game in the armoury where they try to find weirdest, the, who can find the weirdest gun. I bet that is an interesting uh, challenge, to be honest. At least an amusing one, anyway. Um, 
Um, I did tire iron. Damn, I remember that thing. That's fun. One of what's gotten into somebody's brain to invent that thing. Um, but I'm not doing that kind of run here. Oh, that's it. Okay, you go away. And. Uh, same protection, that's better than my right arm, okay. Just piece of that, right leathers don't want. Stuff all this stuff in here and I can come back for it later, can't I? Yeah, boy. I just stuff something in there I didn't want to. Uh, right arm, chest, left arm. Don't have any legs anyway. That really sounded like I was saying something I wasn't then. Uh, okay, I think we're good. Cool. No, I think we're good. Phoenix from Phoenix says, yeah, that's interesting. Red stag helmet. Ah, that uh, blue bank helmet's nice. The red stag hide outfit kind of probably sucks, but... I always remember that one having a Minuteman outfit on. Ooh, double barreled shutter, you say? Road leathers as well. I'm not going to put them on right now, just because, you know... felt like, uh... It's a bit too early. That's one thing, um, hmm... That's a spoiler or not? No, not really, I suppose. Uh, I am going to bash that one because I was actually decent. Um, better damage resist on the hard hat. That leaves the laser resistance. Well, the hard hat's probably the play right now, isn't it? Uh, leather left leg. Red stack hide outfit. We'll replace all my armor, so I don't want that anyway. Um, road leathers. Yeah, those are cooler and generally more useful to me, but uh, I kind of want to... No, nah, I'm going to wear them. Because, uh, let's be honest, they are pretty damn cool. Although I do look like a raider now. Bit too much like a raider, which is kind of depressing. Um, you know what? Just for now. Um, bu -bu 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 bum Short laser muskets. Nice. Let's bring that in. I guess I can go there for now, can't I? Because I don't have any ammo for that anyway. Ooh. Nice. Um. Not everywhere is a safe spot for storage. That is true. Some places do reset. I seem to remember less things in places before, but I don't think that was them. That's a raider, isn't it? Got him. Alright. Still where you are, nice. Ah, did not work. That did. Cool. 
We live and we learn, sort of, kind of, maybe. I've really got a great deal of use out of laser muskets because there's better options, but I always felt a little saddened by that fact. No more British occupation. Hmm. <laughs> I got a crit ready when I need one. Nice. <laughs> that voice is terrible. live in a progressive age. We're trying to anyway. Yeah boy. I only got some uh well actually that's pipe revolver I might want it. Some goodies there. Oh yeah. Fusion cool. Power armor. Yeah, I remember all this. <laughs> If you're going for tons of XP, then unlock the gate first, then ha hack the uh, terminal afterwards. If you care about early game XP. Chasing a level or something. And what the inspiration for laser muskets is. I can only imagine it's um, looking at like the revolutionary stuff going on in the area. Revolutionary history, specifically. Yes. Ooh. This has happened before. <laughs> oh dear. Ah, crapsicles. Yeah, I've done that before by accident and uh, got myself stuck. I'll put an extra one on there, can I not? No more British occupation. Did the fan wrench break and rifles and repair for some? Oh, the, the in law reason for it. it's uh, a good question. I don't really know. Uh, you're asking if this is Fallout London, Caleb, because if that's the question, then no. Uh, surprise, motherfucker! This is just Fallout 4, just. Asking if it's out yet. Um, no, it is not out yet. Well, London is the 23rd, I think, of uh, of April. And the updated next generation, who do you want to fancy 
thing that Bethesda has been working on for however long. That's due out. Um, yeah. uh, um, uh, two days later, on the 25th. Finally have a date for that. Got it. So, yeah, it legs be, but... Uh, so the thing that I did wrong there was to be crouched when I opened that. I think. Though I think dog meat may have gotten in the way and caused problems there. Eh? Fortunately, that's why I dropped a quick save. <laughs> well, that was kicky. <laughs> How well do you know? So yeah, I got level somewhere around that I didn't even remember I had. There we go. Happen to playing the game through again. That's one place to make sure you quick save beforehand. Yes. Nice. You can go. Loot on because it'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? Subway token. I barely remember the subways in this game. I know they're in it, but they're not very significant, really. They're, I mean, there are some significant quests tied to them in a few places, but... The way Fallout 3 did it was just something special. I actually mentioned that when we were all down in London. It's like, one of the things, like, where where would we like to see the next game set? With uh, Rob, the community manager, sat right at the table, so he was blatantly, like, <laughs> interested, and the problem... In, you never know, he might have relayed some good ideas back or something. Well, maybe he won't, I don't know. Maybe I'm just wildly fantasising, but... Um, he was definitely paying attention to the conversation. <laughs> Bless him, why wouldn't he? Um, so yeah, who knows? It would be immensely very cool. Because I was talking about what I liked about Fallout 3 and my reasons for thinking New York would make such a great setting for a Fallout game. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if uh, he knew something or and wasn't saying, or just wanted to see how close we were to the mark on that, or just you know, near out for cool ideas. But he did seem to like what I, I was suggesting in terms of, you know, you can't navigate very well round the city without using the subway systems because of the extensive damage. How do you know it's a woman? Boom, say goodbye to your face, my friend. I think I might hit dog meat there. Gone. Got him. <laughs> Slow mo kills. They do, they make bats worth it. <laughs> Even on PC, I think. But the lack of them in 76 really does eliminate that benefit. Uh, right, um, I have a leather arm, uh, leather leg, a leather chest piece, which will lose me some defensive, uh, some, yeah, it'll lose me the, uh, 
four, two, three. At least we one point of damage resistance, but gain me a whole load of energy resistance. But I don't run into many people shooting at me with energy weapons at this point in the game, so. Uh, arms, leg. Do I have a leg? Don't have anything on there at all, so that can go on there. Well, there's something else that um, I want. No, maybe not. Why ain't they got ammo for my um, sniper? Which means I should probably uh, put it... I think. So it's not very prolific. Not in this game, no. Come on, man. They ain't going nowhere. We got other shit to deal with. You hear that? I gotta go take a little walk, but I'll be back. And don't forget. Right, so one of them comes in here because I remember this strat firmly. <laughs> Took a little too long, that. Uh, I don't know if she's taking any damage, though. Yeah. Um, yeah, screw it. I'll take everything anyway. Yeah, it's not that urgent. They're all dead, Freston. But he's dead, Dave. In here. Braxo. Should have thought. Where should we put the jet? I think down there is probably fine. Because it might be a tad handy. Yeah. So I just saw your uh, comment again there, guy. Okay? I'm just uh, thinking, yeah, I, I really did love the f subway system in Fallout 3. It'll make her an amazing addition to. Um, or amazing feature in a New York setting. For a Fallout game. Uh, right, don't get anything worth having there. No. Gas mask with hood. Uh, hooded gas mask, what it's called. Salt gas mask, that's it. One. And 15. Yeah, that thing's quite cool. I do like that. It's my favourite piece of Raider headgear. Why oh, I'm sneaking, because I don't need to do that anymore. Um, I'll go drop that just in case, though. And here we go. Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minuteman. Huh. Never had that one before. Minuteman passing through, you only got to help. Uh, got to help. Mm, uh, Minuteman. Uh, got to help. Glad to help. Well, if that's true, we could use some more goodwill. As you can see, he does have the best the outfit, though. God damn it. Who are these people? World's changed, got my own problems going on. Who are these people? Who are these people? Just folks looking for a new home. A fresh start. I've been with them since Quincy. Lexington looked good for a while, but the ghouls drove us out of there. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now It'd be, be travesty not take advantage, wouldn't it? It's just Assuming it's a game, though. The Longs, Marcy and June. That's all Mama Murphy on the couch. And this here is Sturgis. Hey. Ghouls? Ghouls? What are ghouls? Wow. Maybe. You really aren't from around here, are you? <sighs> nope. Ghouls are irradiated people. Most are just like you and me. 
They look pretty messed up and live for a long time, but they're still just people. The ones I'm talking about are different. The radiation's rotted right their brain. Such a fucking good game. They'll rip you apart just as soon as look at you. Anyway, we figured Conquer would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. But, well, we do have one idea. It's enough, tell me, better be good. That's great. Um, tell me. Well, let's hear it. Sturgis, tell it. There's a crash vertebrate up on the roof. Old school, pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. Sounds useful, wouldn't help. I like it. Power armor. Power armor. What makes that power armor so special? A West Tech internalized servo system, that's what. Inside that baby, super is the new normal. You'll be stronger, tougher, resistant to rads, and... Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. Do that. He wobbles it. Raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? Minigun might work. Good idea. It's suicide. Minigun? And I can use the minigun like a rifle. Don't see why not. It'll have a manual trigger. Just aim it at the bad guys and do the old spray and pray. Now, as for the armor, it's out of juice. Probably has been for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. More dynamic camera work during conversation. Yeah, that is definitely a feature that um, is well worth having. Um, how, which they didn't really manage to pull off in Starfield either, I don't think. Um, I don't see why you can't have your cake and eat it with that, though. Um, you could certainly move the camera around yeah. based on, like this. Hello. You just have a different layout on the screen. There's nothing stopping you doing it. Um, and it's definitely something that should be there. Uh, what's the solution? So what's the solution? What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term <laughs> battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement. Locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. Um, yeah, it always amused me that you, Preston's are like, oh, it's an old pre-war FC. Nobody ever uses the word uh, FC to describe a fusion core ever again. It's just, it's a fusion core. Everybody just calls it by its full name. Despite the fact that the uh, potential shortened version is right there. I don't think I've ever heard anybody call it an FC. New gal. Hello. Hey, I'm talking. Um, recap, maybe. No, already have it, already have it. Actually, I already grabbed the fusion core. We're set. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. Uh, maybe throw it to... Yeah, maybe. Um, on the other hand, I don't. I also meant players, Gray. Like, I've never heard a player refer to it as an FC. Just doesn't seem perfect. Necessary, worthwhile, advantageous. You know. Right, I'm going to level up while I remember. Um, so what I'd like to do. I don't know if I need to go armor or gun nut first. Um, I'm going to go gun nut, I think. No, I might upgrade my... Uh, I want to put points into rifles as well for this build. We have a rifleman. Um, what do I want as a secondary backup type gun? Rifles and shotguns, rifles and pistols. I do like the pistols in this game. I don't really fancy doing automatic rifles, which is I love them. Hmm. 
I can't remember what the way to go if you want to do like laser rifles and stuff is, because I do like laser rifles. I think it's just straight up. I don't think there's an energy weapon skill, is there? I think there is. I think there was in three, but I don't think there is in four. If I remember rightly, it's just a, a laser rifle is a rifle, right? So I think I probably do want to go rifle. Do I want to make it an automatic one? I don't know that I do. Um, is a non-automatic laser rifle worth it, though? That's the thing. Yeah, maybe if you were to the power armor factory, possibly, yeah. Or just do... But, yeah... I don't know. I feel like I feel like fusion core just kind of works. It, just, it sounds satisfying to say. Um, if I go that way, I have to go automatic. If I go that way, I have to kind of not. Um, hmm. Had this been cyberpunk, they'd have been using abbreviations all the time. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, da, 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 I can't remember. Rifleman. Pistols, rifles. Pistols, pistols. Um, hmm. <laughs> um. I don't think it's really worth worrying about at this point. Pistols are useful. Gun nut would be useful. There were rifles. I don't know what to choose. Decisions, as always. I'm going to put one in a rifleman for now, I think. Um. Cool. We're good on that, aren't I? Right. Yeah. Um, okay, so we need to talk to people, and I think I picked everything up worth picking up, really. Apart from the bobblehead. Talk to old Mama Murphy. Man, dog meat sure did find us some help. Now we know his name. Just look at ya. Dog meat led me here. Dumb mutt. Good dog. Uh, dog meat. Uh, dog meat. So he's your dog. Ah, uh, he ain't my dog. No, sir. Dog meat. He's what you call his own man. You can't own a free spirit like that. But he chooses his friends and sticks with them. He'll stay by you now. I saw it. One second. Could you say that a little louder? Right. Uh, bu 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 you saw it? Saw it? You saw it? It's the Cam's kid. They give old Mama Murphy the sight. Been that way for as long as I can remember. <laughs> yeah, she is uh, an interesting cat character, Mama Murphy. What's the sight? I can see a bit of what was. Yeah, the Cam references were quite cool, isn't they? Some of them are a bit strange, though. Right? I don't know what to make of it. Right Although we do have a theory. I can see this something coming, drawn by the noise and the chaos. And it is angry. 
Push for it. What is it? Mama Murphy, I need more. Please. I'm I'm yeah. sorry, kid. But I just don't know. The sight ain't always clear. But believe me when I tell you, it ain't a radar. <sighs> I never felt inclined to give her the chems, though. Now. And if I ain't mistaken, you've got a job to do. Like it or not, we're all counting on you. Hey, I see. We need help, and we get a vault dweller? What are you going to do in that stupid jumpsuit? Bleed to death? <laughs> uh Jean? Mister? Oh no 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 Excellent Exception Lure around jetties and well, jet will basically be this. It'll be the same basic law. Um, tweaks they made. Um, it might be one or two bits that ah oh, come off as relatively fundamental changes, but most were most of the law adjustments that I particularly picked up on in the show were um, moving things forward, sort of over time. You know, things change over time. That kind of law change. So additions rather than uh, retconning anything, I suppose. Keep the phrase. Right. I'm a little confused there. Hmm. Did I like the show? I did, yes, very, very much. Um, Style-wise and vibe-wise, I could best say, which is the reason we're playing this game, um, right now anyway, uh, that it's if Fallout 4 was a, a TV show, that's kind of the vibe. I very, very much enjoyed it. <laughs> Got through the whole thing today, so... Yeah. I will definitely be watching it again, but... I need a bit of time to breathe, because it is rather like trying to digest an entire Fallout game in a day, which is full-on. Not described as being invented before the actual ingredients existed. Uh seems unlikely. Especially it's just fertilizer and plastic, so Misk, I guess? There we are. Personal log. United States Army Staff Sergeant Michael Daly. This past Saturday, October twenty third. While en route to West Stockbridge, a vertebrate crashed into the roof of this museum. The cause? EMP following nuclear detonation. Several, in fact. From the intel I've gathered, this was a global event. The co-pilot was killed on impact. The pilot died of his injuries a day later. The day after that, Flaherty and Kanawa were shot by some scared, desperate survivors. Then Brzezanski took off running. Haven't seen him since. Now, it's my turn to go AWOL, if that concept even applies anymore. My armor's fusion core is burned out, so I guess my soldiering days are done. I'm heading to Boston, on foot, to see if my sister survived all this. She's got an apartment on Boylston Street. I like that you can actually walk down that street, although I don't know if you find any evidence of them. I never managed to. Here we go. Let's rock and roll. Ooh, yeah, I've got the power arms not in the best of Nick. I need to remember to take out the fusion core. Wait, something's out there. We 
got company. Up here. Oh, no. oh, we got him. Why don't you get down here? Let you and my boys have a little talk. I knew it. You're awake, asshole. I thought I heard something. Now you're mine. You're awake, asshole. Come on, boys. Pretty sure uh, that's the. That's the boss, that's why. He's popped some. I don't know if that's all I've got. Is he dead? I think he might be dead. That one. Yep, he's down. This one's all mine. I've not got a lot of shots left for my sniper rifle. Disappearing. <laughs> Can't see very clearly because it's dark and stuff. <laughs> That's me ammo out there. Yeah, I think this is going to be the play. Gotcha. Oh, the arm's bust on the power armor. I didn't realize that. What you got left playing games with me, huh? Gotcha. Take a hell of a shot to pull this off, but you never know. Gotten lucky before. Press the poorly finish that guy off. Alright, and I think it's time to make the jump, isn't it? So much darker this game than 476 was. Dummy just jumped off and fell with that. Think trouble's coming my way. I'm gonna get the minigun out. I'm only coming around here because uh, I need to find the body. And I will forget if I don't go looking for it. Well, maybe I'll forget, maybe I won't. And uh, I can't find her. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Now, we got a big fight. Fusion Core Recharger. I kind of like that um, we don't have options like that, actually, if I'm honest. And there it is. It's ruining the pain while it's down. Oh, shite. Here we go.
see if the crit's going to help. Not a great deal, apparently. Yes, then I... And I'm down! Oh, dear me. <laughs> Challenging. Ooh. Well, we are playing on the second half of this difficulty, and I'm here. Okay. Well, this might be slightly easier to deal with in the, the daytime. Rain some death upon. I got the legs. Uh, right, head is. Got him that time. Oof. Yeah. And we are good, apparently. Ooh. Think period should follow that TV series, Pit Boy. Yeah, it's been up on the Bethesda Gear store for a while, that one. Ooh. Well, that was the whole thing, wasn't it? Victory, though. Hey. Do you mind moving, dog, mate? So from Corvega, because they followed up from uh, the end of the Commonwealth. Came up from Lexington, didn't they? Oh, what did you find, Doug? Me? Any things, I'm sure. Oh, good lad, what do you got? Jet and Radix, nice. Alright. And some cash, nice, always good. Just kill my canvas back. <laughs> uh, so we're to make it an issue, run into issues like that again. I think they would handle it better. They would be, well, you know, they've got the experience to draw on from cocking it up last time, haven't they? So we assume they would do a better job. Municipal plutonium well. I never understood that. Not least of all because we never saw it anywhere else either. Power armor's just destroying the place. We got that bit down in the series. Howdy, oh Nate, you alright? Welcome on in. First time catching live. Well, if this is a time slot thing, Magic, that works for you. <laughs> Monday to Friday evenings, I'm usually live. Usually. I'll be able to yeah. 
No, I may have my power armor though, so I might be able to punch my way through it. Um, so there was, I think that's most of them. Probably a dead radar is somewhere, it's all dark and shizzle, so. There's a couple more dead guys. Ooh, joy of joy of joys. This still looks safe, yeah, it's relatively safe. So first thing I need to do is, how do I get out of the power armor? Not like that. Did I put a pointing rifle in? I think I did, didn't I? Actually, in, 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 until another one. That's how I get out. All right, okay. <laughs> Alright, uh, so next up I want to... Uh, just have a quick scan. Double barrel, yeah. Um, I'm kind of tempted by the idea of having shotties as my backup. I'm honest. Uh, let's... For now. Okay. Um, I think it's time to switch out to... I'm guessing the reason that, uh, Minuteman didn't have... Oh, yeah, there we go. Um... The Minuteman outfit on is just because it's somewhat randomised. <clears throat> I assume. Uh, another right leg. That would be an upgrade, wouldn't it? So let's have that. Um, chest piece will be a downgrade for now, but not for long. Um, Alright, okay, that's where we're at. So, what have I got in here right now? We can't scrap weapons in this, can we? Can we? Can't bloody remember now. Um, anyway, everything there I kind of want to sell anyway, so that that's, makes sense. Uh... Back in there for the minute. Exposed control. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to. Well, I mean, this is the one stream we're doing of uh, Fallout 4, but notwithstanding that, I probably won't stick with um, the controller anyway, because, yeah, my hands are just not used to it. And I could get used to it, but I don't know if I've got a lot of motivation to. I'm kind of pondering that idea. Ugh. Also, from a streaming standpoint, I tend to creep further away from the microphone when I'm using this. Yeah, I don't have to wear power armor most of the time in anything, really, apart from maybe Fallout 3 a bit that more, but. Was a pretty amazing display. I'm just glad you were on our side. Can if you want, yeah, but. Uh... Everyone okay? We're not friends. Feelings mutual. I'm on my side. Uh, everyone okay? You guys gonna be okay now? Yeah, for a while anyway. We can at least move some. Listen, when we first met, you said you were glad to help. Someplace safe, I assume, with me. And we owe you our lives. So here, it ain't much, but it's the best way I can say thank you. Yeah, what now? I'll take it. Didn't ask for. Didn't help for money. Uh, didn't help for money. I didn't do it for the money. Hey, sorry. I'm used to everyone being in it only for themselves. You know. Can't you scrap weapons. Yeah, I remember. The other Minutemen, the ones who gave their lives for something bigger than themselves. You should come with us to Sanctuary. We could use the help. 
Um, yes, no, maybe doing what? Mm, maybe. I'll think about it. Before you leave, kid, a word about the journey you're about to start on. Because I seen your destiny and I know your pain. Destiny? My destiny? What do you mean? You're a woman out of time, out of hope, but all is not lost. I can feel your son's energy. He's alive. Where is my son? Where is Sean? Oh, I wish I knew, kid. I really do. But it's not like I can see your son. I can just feel I'm sure his life force, his yeah. energy. He's out there. And even I don't need the sight to tell you where you should start looking. The great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Diamond City. The biggest settlement around. Diamond City? What's in Diamond City? Is Sean there? Look, kid. I'm That's the other annoying thing. Maybe you'll the dialogue doesn't to always tie up to what you Maybe think it's going to. We'll paint a clearer picture. No, Mama Murphy, we talked about this. That junk, it's gonna kill you. Well, shush, Preston. We're all gonna die eventually. We're gonna need the sight. And our new friend. Never know. She's got slippers on before. Too. Now let's get going. Sanctuary awaits. All right, folks. Thanks to our friend here, it's safe to move out. <clears throat> for that place Mama Murphy knows about. Sanctuary. It's not far. She knows about it? You mean she had one of her visions while she was stoned out of her gourd? And now you want us to just head out on another wild goose chase based on no better plan than Mama Murphy saw it? It can oh, hold on, hold on. worse than... Everybody just take it easy. We're all in this together, right? So Marcy, you got a better idea of what we should do next? Anybody? Anybody? <laughs> Sanctuary it is. Let's just hope it lives up to its name. Come on, June. It's time to go. Oh, okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've got a whole bunch of mods. So I need to go through my mods and get rid of ones that uh, I definitely don't want. And make sure I've got stuff that I, uh, stuff that I've got is stuff I definitely do want. I think. But uh, yeah, next time we dive in, it'll be for Fallout London. So I want to be free of mods for that. I think. I don't God knows what interactions there may or may not be, and complications and problems. I suspect Fallout London will be best played with no other mods in your game. I would imagine. A short jog back to Sanctuary, I think. Got a bit. More and more, more and more, I am vi feeling that I, I prefer to walk between places rather than fast travel. Not always, but generally speaking, if the world is reasonably immersive. Got you this time, you bugger. Dodge this. Didn't, but he didn't somehow did survive it. Don't you that time? Unofficial patch? Eh, might be, I don't know. But yeah.
It is a like substantial, like, almost new game mod in some ways, though. I mean, they say it's DLC sized, but to be honest, it's probably bigger than that. From the number of districts and the size and stuff, it's small game sized rather than a um, deals, you know, anything else, I think. So, yeah, I'm inclined to say uh, the cleaner the slate, the better, probably. Sprinting, you can literally see the fusion core drain faster when I sprint. I fucking forgot about that. All the perks and the, the differences to uh, 76. I need to do my research on uh, Fallout London for sure. I forgot your pit boy gets pulled out and jacked into it in this game as well. I don't think that happens in um, 76, does it? And take the fusion court. Nope, that was the wrong bum. So, this is in your work that you worked overtime without meaning to. Shocking, Feli. because there's no quick um, transfer button on there. Well, that, for starters, gets me under the limits. How exactly do we scrap things like this? I mean, you can drop them and then do it in build mode, can't you, I think? I mean, I know you do that because I say you do the, the glitch, but... I can't remember how the scrapping stuff goes. I don't know, maybe I'll have to take it from the top and actually go through the whole damn thing and actually look at things. <laughs> can imagine, Feline. Uh, three. That'll do it. Blocky makes it, dog me. What's worth? Miss Anna, welcome back, Mum. I do hope you were able to find some assistance in Congo. Nothing new here, we'll see. Nothing useful, new friends. New friends. You could say that. I made a few new friends. Can't have enough of those these days. I realize that I'm no Mr. Gutsy, but if needed, I'd be honored to accompany you throughout the Commonwealth. Just say the word. Uh, would you like that? Would you like to? As you wish, Mum. But because he has no particular uh, affinity with me, he's kind of got not much to say on that front. Uh, come with me. Yes, of course. Right behind you, Mum. There's Preston. Not to worry, there, pup. Your mistress is in good hands. Send dogmate to sanctuary. I think for now. Hillsworth tolerates you. <coughs> My personal fucking robot butler barely tolerates me. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Don't even think about coming into my house, Marcy Doll. It's my house. I'll shut the door in your face. <laughs> anyway. Not sure why it just says M on all of these. Hmm. 
either way. For one evening, I think it's time to probably press buttons like that one. So. Ooh. Yeah, that was fun. It's uh, a bit of a blast from the past. We're on a bit later than usual, but that's fine. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff there I'm not really remembering, but... Um, I don't know. I'm kind of tempted to play some more, but I also need to play other stuff. Um, I don't know. Mm. Fallout London around the corner. Just how much time have I got and stuff like that? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I'll see how I feel. I might... Um, I might switch things over. I'm also kind of tempted to uh, switch it over, start from the top and do a better version, better setup, and play as a male soul survivor and stuff like that. Um, to be honest, the primary reason for picking a female one right now, because I'm, I'm fine with both, was uh, the possibility that somebody who has a problem with strong female leads in this series might come in and get pissed off because I'm playing the female version. Basically. And, uh, you know, I was quite happy to do that. Yeah, um, that was fun. That was really... It took me back and I kind of miss playing Fallout 4 now. Mm. Uh, enjoyed doing that. So, yeah. Um... And some people who to come on before the TV read. Fuck yeah. Uh, fucking shit I got accused of in there. You know one person accused me of being xenophobic just because I expressed um, a positive opinion about women. Never mind the fact that um, it is, uh, understanding of the word was completely fucked. It's a, it was an, a fucking ridiculous reaction. Bat shit crazy. Uh, somebody turned around and said um, uh, strong female protagonist actually would, has been done to death and I just went imagine how women feel after a hundred years on the other side of that and uh, he just went fucking batshit crazy about it uh, literally fucking cuckoo and I was like right <laughs> I make a good point and you go insane <laughs> fucking assholes man oh dear the only issue with the female lady is she's distracting and gorgeous. She is a pretty woman. She certainly is. And uh, has the same birthday as me, as it turns out, according to IMDb. Assuming the IMDb is right. That's quite cool. Different year, mind you, but uh, same day. Yeah, feline. Um, the, the crap in that comment section on that video is, I, I'd say, stay the hell away from it. People are fucking batshit crazy. A good few of them have uh, come, well, a few people have come back and said, yeah, actually, it's all right. It's good in the comments afterwards. Um, but unsurprisingly, nobody stood out as being somebody who was like, actually, he's right all along. Because, <laughs> uh, of course not. That would, uh, that would never happen. Oh, well. And there's a good bunch of people who are uh, trying to slag it off as being absolutely terrible. And it's fucking great, man. The series is great. If you hate what Bethesda do with the games, you're going to hate what um, they've done with the series. But if you enjoy Fallout 4, uh, if you like legitimately, that's the best comparison I can make. If you enjoy Fallout 4, you'll like the series. That's all there is to it. Assuming you haven't, uh, you know crammed one's head where the sun does not shine but uh, there's a lot of people out there who do that yeah some people are fucking batshit and all some people uh you know there's a whole section of the fallout i don't want to say fandom because it's not really fandom is it uh and i don't want to say community because they're not really part of the community either but there's a whole section of people out there who seem to have a the thing where they the whole thing about fallout is shitting on it so so you know you can't possibly enjoy your fallout you'd be Say, oh, well, you're like this, then you're not following. Oh, fuck off, you know. I don't get it. People are crazy. Um, <laughs> they were joking about making the series. Yeah, I'm not surprised that it happened. Uh, it was always going to happen eventually. I just hope they make a season two, because um, I think it would be really cool. One of the conversations around it was whether or not they'd do it in the way that the games do, which is that, um, you know, Fallout 3 is separate from Fallout 4, different place, different people and so on and so forth um but on a season basis rather than an individual episode you know that kind of vibe um so season two might be somewhere else with different people but um yeah uh, as much as they wrapped up this storyline within the series and didn't leave it on a cliffhanger which is good um 
they um, they left open to the, the stories there are still stories to be told I suppose is what I'm getting at they've still got stories to be told in this space and I would absolutely like to see that continue and I think judging by the way it was tied up without spoilers um, that's probably where the writers are at too I think they would like to continue telling stories about these people and stuff and uh, yeah I'd like to see that it's really really cool I was very, very impressed. Oh, one of the other things that was really cool, which they kind of talked about before, um, and Todd Howard mentioned, was things they could do in the series that they didn't do in the game, which the big thing is, to, like, the, the pre-war stuff. What was the world like before the bombs dropped? Um, you get a little bit of it in Fallout 4, for example, but um, like the, you get really get, like, interpersonal relationships and the political situation and living in that world and how it affects people's lives and stuff in a way that the games just can't. Um, and that was really, really cool and interesting, and I thought it was amazingly well done. Cool. Well, I have so many unanswered questions from the series as well. Uh, like, there's, there is stuff I want to know after this. Um, some of it, as I say, is stuff that's always been ambiguous. Some of it is... Um, new new questions and uh, yeah also there's something that's in there that i suspect a lot of people are going to say is confirmation of a long-standing theory but it is not confirmation of a long-standing theory it's just uh, making the, th the it makes the theory canon but doesn't confirm what the theory says and i'm not going to say any more than that um it basically brings the theory into the world without providing an answer to the question that is the basis of the theory. <laughs> but I don't want to tell you what it is, because spoilers. Um, but yeah, it's it's very, very cool. How many seasons do I think? Three to four? Something like that on those characters. Yeah, I could see. Um, yeah. Something like three for those characters, and then if it's still popular and doing well and stuff... Maybe consider moving on once their stories are tied up. That'd be cool. Wonder if the Soul Survivor will turn up? No, definitely will not. 100% will not. Um, there, I mean, it's, it's conceivable it's still alive and out there on the other side of the country. I mean, nine years difference, they could travel across. Um, but... If the Soul Survivor turns up, they will have to set which faction ending is the canon ending for Fallout 4. Um, obviously, there are, there are all different endings to Fallout 4, and right now they're all kind of canon, and none of them are at the same time. And if they put it into the show, they will have to say, this is the canon ending, and they don't want to do that. So Soul Survivor is not going to crop up. They've made that very, very clear that they don't want to change what exists build on it for sure but i mean saying that i don't know if they haven't accidentally changed a couple of little things but um we'll see yeah exactly gross basically saying what i what i was rabbiting on about but yeah i don't think we'll see any pre-existing characters crop up um at all i don't imagine but yeah uh thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed that thoroughly enjoyed playing fallout 4 tonight as well so uh, thank you all for hanging out with me for that one. That was cool. Um, looking forward and ahead and things tomorrow, it's the short answer, is Friday and we're going to do Pacific Drive because I want to play that too. Love it a bit. Synth or two could turn up. That's a bit more conceivable, yeah. Uh, a random synth is a bit more conceivable, yeah. Um, so Pacific Drive tomorrow. Uh, my ear is itching. That's very, very annoying. Do something about that in a minute. Um... Next week and going beyond, we'll drop back onto the usual schedule. Fallout 4, I'm not going to be streaming any more of that for a bit, other than Fallout London, which is mod for Fallout 4. So Fallout London drops on the 23rd, so that's just under two weeks from now. Uh, it was two weeks last Tuesday, so we'll be doing that. We've got Enshrouded, which we should have wrapped up So by then, so that'll be carrying on the next couple of weeks. We've only got the two dungeons to do now. Um, so my hope is we'll be able to get through those. It's probably going to be challenging, especially now we're getting into the more dangerous areas. But we shall see. Um, so yeah, that's um, hopefully going to happen over the next couple of weeks in time for Fallout London to come in. 
Uh, Pacific Drive, I think we're maybe two-thirds-ish of the way through that game-ish. So, going to carry on with that. Obviously, Fallout 76 is carrying on. Once Fallout London is done and Pacific Drive, we will be a little bit more open-ended. I want to play Horizon, so that might happen soon. Um, Hellblade is also due out um, in May, so I want to play that. Um, that will probably happen after Fallout London, I would guess. Um, and we'll see what happens from that. There's, there's another few bits and pieces out over the summer and stuff and later on this year. And I'd like to squeeze in some for, some uh, something old at some point, but we'll have to see. Uh, probably what... God, I, I really want to play The Witcher 3 at some point, but that's a huge, huge thing and it's going to take a very long time. So I need a big wide open gap for that. Same thing for Mass Effect Andromeda is going to be fairly chonky when we eventually drop that in. I've got a couple of small things to squeeze in in appropriate gaps. Um, Star Wars Outlaws has been announced as end of August, I think it is. I think it was the end of August. The uh, date was shared a couple of days ago, yesterday. Um, and uh, yeah, there's a whole load of stuff about Ubisoft uh, trying to wring every penny out of people they can, most of which is not going to work on me. But um, I definitely almost certainly will play that game. Uh, and yeah, obviously Avowed is later on this year as well, so... That's going to be... Uh, have to get checked out. I didn't particularly get on with um, Pillars of Eternity, but uh, about a, a different spin on that world. So, And it'll be on Game Pass, so... Worth a shot. Excuse me. So yeah, that's kind of where we're at looking forward for the next while. Um, otherwise, thank you for hanging out. If you haven't already, likes and subs are always very, very much appreciated. Social media links to make sure channel memberships down below as well, and notification bell and all that stuff. So, yeah, if you want to hit any of that, I really, really appreciate the support. Massively helps out. And, uh, yeah, we'll uh, get back to the regular stuff. Got a video coming tomorrow and uh, another one probably on Monday as well. So that's where I am at the minute. So that should be cool. <laughs> uh, triple I showcase. Oh, yeah. It already aired when you mentioned it, had it? Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I still haven't had time to look at that anyway. Um, I have got notes down here that I really need to go through and have a look at in a bit, but yeah, I'm going to veg out. Anyway, folks, I need a trip to the bathroom and I need to chill for a bit because, uh, yeah, we are at half, gone half past uh, 11 now, so let's uh, keep, uh, keep the rhythm going for this sleeping improvement that seems to be happening so far. Anyway, thank you for hanging out. Have a good rest of your evening. Join us for Pacific Drive tomorrow. It's fun. It's, uh, yeah, We're modifying a car instead of power armor. <laughs> it's a fun game. It's interesting, different, and quite chill. So, if you're down for that, have a gander. All right, until then, have a good rest of your evening. Have a good day tomorrow. Look after yourself. Stay safe. And I'll see you at the usual time-ish, around about 8 o'clock tomorrow evening. So, see you then. <laughs> now, hey, folks. Have a good one.
Thank you.